<clears throat> Good eat. <clears throat> How have you been? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, no, I have I have not been well. Had a, a terrible cold, but I'm now okay. I'm back to work in a different yeah. place in the UK, different place from my home. So I'm much better now. We've got good. an hour to do this. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Mm -hmm. So what's been going on with your, with your trading? Trade-wise, oh God, I've been tired. Yeah, I'm still practicing, uh, not really doing too well, so, because okay. most, of, most of the times it's just the losses instead of wins. I've, I've just been, I've been concentrating on, on just learning to, 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 to put up the stop loss and the take profit. So sure. I would think even if it's a, I know that it's gonna lose or whatever, but I just click so that I can learn to move the, to set up the stop loss and the take profit. So that's sure. what I've been concentrating on. Once I get okay. to master those, then I'll move on to something. Okay, well, that's mm -hmm. a good plan um have you been making your trades yeah <laughs> that's how i mean have you been winning your trades oh some of them but most of them are losses like i've said <clears throat> with most of them um i uh, uh i would check on the harmonic scanner and the mm -hmm. check on the 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 ninja Kata. And I would think, oh, well, it's it's going down. It's a downtrend or an uptrend. I would mm -hmm. put it on, maybe I should have been clicking on the time frames. I don't know. But I just put it on because I think it's a downtrend. And then sure. I end up losing. I don't know what's been what's wrong with that. That's maybe okay. if you can enlighten me. Sure. Well, we're, we're going to take a peek at it. Uh-huh. Goodness gracious. Um, I'm sorry, I just got some I just got some news here. It's pretty good news. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, uh, I had a, I had a trade open on my demo account that I didn't know about it. It, it made one hundred and thirty eight thousand dollars. <laughs> oh, cool. I guess I was playing around last time and uh, Whoa, you left it open. I left it open. I guess oh, I was training God. somebody. And <laughs> oh, oh, man. I should have taken that one in real life, huh? Golly. Okay. It will. It will happen. <laughs> it will. Oh, gosh. If only okay. it happened that way. Um, okay. So let's, um, so let's go over what you're doing, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and take a peek at what you got. And... Just kind of go over. Um, gosh, okay. my mind totally, completely went to that place. Okay, so let's go over your what you're doing. Let's go over what what you're how you're trading. I'm gonna let you share the screen, okay? And you, okay. Uh, you, you just kind of show me uh, how you're setting up stuff. And, um, I've been playing up on two two broker accounts, Hugo's way, mm -hmm. and. I see market. Okay. So on Hugo's way. Let me turn it on. Is is it gonna come on? Oh, let's do share first, yeah. Yeah. Where's the share screen now? Uh, it's a big green button at the bottom. Oh yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see my screen? I cannot. No yet. It's asking me to to. There we go. I can see your screen now. Oh, you can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, it's. Oh. Which one are you seeing? Uh, the one that says Zoom, uh, join okay. meeting. Here we go. Mm hmm. 
I bring up IC market. Can you see? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. This is the one that I've been doing even this afternoon today. Okay. And this is my history. <laughs> okay. I'm also using, as before, I'm using the big screen as well. Okay. Okay. So this is my history. Uh, okay. I've blown this one down to smithereens. This from 1,000, I think, to what? It's 300 and something, or I don't know. I don't okay. even know whether there's an open trade. I don't know. Because, mm -hmm. um, is there, yeah. Are you, are you doing all of your market analysis on, on these charts here? No, I, I, I put these, the lines on today because I was listening to, I was in, in IC markets and I was listening to a video on, is it FRX 204, I think. Okay. Uh-huh. And the, 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 the person that created the video was saying, this is how we set up chats in on MT4. So I was mm -hmm. following. I don't okay. know whether I should have not done this, but this is what I did. So, so the deal is, is that I don't set up charts on MT4. Um, MT4 is, it's hard to use for me. And, and, and I feel like it's harder to analyze charts. What I do is I analyze charts on TradingView and then I and then I place my trades on MT4, uh, <clears throat> but all my analyzing is on Trading View. Okay, yeah, that's what I heard. I've heard other people say in in other videos as well. Now yeah. I just this today because I was listening to 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 this to the video. Mm -hmm. okay. I'll take them out. Could I get you to to move over to Trading View? To, to analyze? Yeah. yeah. It's my trading view. Yeah. With the trading view um, everywhere. <laughs> can you see my board? My, I can. My screen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which one do you want us to, to, to take? uh let's just do a usd cad or, or, or what market do you usually trade i normally do g gpb is it gpb or gpp <laughs> yeah. the jpy uh, or GPP. that's fine or yeah that's fine yeah. whatever you want i did it doesn't matter to me whatever you want to do. okay where is it i can't even see i can't even find it you can type it into the search bar okay. there and it'll it'll take you there. B B B. Uh -huh. Okay. This one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you were <clears throat> if you were going to set up this trade, mm -hmm. if you were going to consider this market, what would you do? Uh, <clears throat> what I've been doing is, um, okay, normally I would look at the, I would check on the harm, uh, harmonic scanner. Okay. Or maybe I would do a pitchfork or whatever. But now uh -huh. I listen to somebody else. They said they only use the the indicator and the the other something else. And you told me you introduced me to the DeLorean as well. Mm -hmm. So I've been like, let me not maybe concentrate on the harmonic scanner. Just concentrate on the indicator and the DeLorean. Okay. And the ninja matrix to to put on the ninja matrix as well. So that's what I've been playing around. So what I would normally do is, um, if 
usually they can they, they it would be the chat would be maybe on normal candles mm -hmm. the normal candles then maybe i would try i would put it take it down to hey kanashi yeah so that i can see the trend because they help to see the trend well mm -hmm. then i would look at what is happening on the four hours or mm -hmm. on the chart in four hours or what's been going on or what is gonna go on okay that one i would uh, sometimes i write it down i would i would write like four hours mm -hmm. down the trend is it's a downtrend then i would take it down to one hour and then i would say hmm i would look up the ninja kata is indicating that um it's it's an uptrend within the hour it mm -hmm. it would be an uptrend mm -hmm. green i would write down that one and then i would go to i normally don't do 30 minutes i do 15 minutes what's happening 15 minutes it's a downtrend but the delorean the delorean is is showing is indicating that the the uptrend is just finished and the downtrend is just starting but we are not very sure because this is just the beginning things might change because uh if we look at the the previous uh, at the beginning of the chat there or the previous times there has been just a streak of a uh, either an uptrend or a downtrend here mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. Uh, I would rather wait until I get uh, maybe the uh, a ninja down. Here, there is just the ninja matrix, which is indicating the red, the, the red, the the downtrend. But I would also wait for the ninja uh, ninja kata to to indicate the the trend or the direction in which the candles are, the market is going okay. from the. 10 minutes out i could i do the five minutes as well i like to look at the five minutes here the ninja matrix is showing that it's an uptrend and <clears throat> there's a the 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 color is the purple yeah mm -hmm. i think it's purple that i put yeah so that means the uptrend is getting stronger here uh, mm -hmm. And then I would look at the one minute as uh, as well. What is happening in the one minute? Oh, uh, the downtrend is appears to be getting stronger. Mm -hmm. uh, yellow line is the what is it? Is it the average whatever that was average matrix or average whatever? And it's indicating that there is it's it's caving down. So indicating that it's also. Uh, there is also the is strengthening the direction of the downtrend. So those are the things that I look at. Okay, so so, so the, these couple of indicators you're reading. Okay, we we've observed a lot of ups and downs and ups and downs here. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So what we want to do is we want to we want to back out. The I think the mm -hmm. four hour is fine. Um, mm -hmm. So if you turn off, if you turn off all of these indicators, okay, and just have a blank chart and go to the four hour chart, let's do that, okay? Turn everything off and just go to the four hour chart. Mm -hmm. This one is off. Then the ninja kata as well. Mm -hmm. Turn everything off. There we go. I think. Okay, let's go to the four hour chart four mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and zoom out uh just roll your wheel back and see how far to let you zoom out let's take a peek let me like this mm -hmm. there we go what is the highest point on the chart the highest point i think is this okay it happened put, on the third first of january that's at right. 10 o'clock let's put a line there 
uh, what lie? Should I use this? Uh, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's gone up now. Do you know how, how to do it now? Just scroll up. You just went down. Just scroll up. There you go. Do you know how to add this to your favorites bar? Put a star by it so that you can you can. Is it this one? The trend line. Well, yeah, you star that one, but then go down to where it says horizontal line. It's like the seventh one oh. down. That's the one we want. Uh, yeah. One more up. Right there. That's the one you want right there. Okay. There you go. And there he is. Now he's on your, you see him up there on your chart? Now so click I click. Mm -hmm. And now I... make, make the line at the top. There you go. Okay. Now, what is the lowest point it's, on the chart? It's yellow. Let me change the color. Okay. Let Whatever me you put want. Put it on the red. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's not do red because you're going to use red later for a stop, for a stop loss. So let's choose purple, pink. Uh... Oh, no, I don't like pink. No, purple is too dark now. Because <laughs> green is going, we... red is stop. So you need a color. For what pink. about? Uh, I think this is. That's no, perfect. That... Is it? Yeah, it's perfect. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just so long as it's not red or green. Oh, uh, God. Mine is, uh, I use purple on mine. It does, but it doesn't matter. Just whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Purple is good, not pink. Uh, okay. I'm not a pink person. I don't like pink. That's mm -hmm. fine. <laughs> okay. So now, what is the lowest point on the chart? What, where did, what's the lowest point the candles went to on the chart? Over here. Right. And so, now put another line there. Highest point mm -hmm. and lowest point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's support and resistance on the four hour chart. Okay. Can you put a line at the lowest point right there? There you go. Perfect. Um, up above, kind of where it made an M right there, right above your finger, you see at the at the top, we had some uh, resistance. Do you see that? Can we put another line there? Do you see that? I think you froze. I lost you. I could. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I could still hear you. No worries. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's do this. I'm gonna sh I'm gonna share my screen with you for a minute. Okay. Okay. Is that okay? Uh huh. That's fine. Okay. Let me. Hold on just a second, because I'm gonna I'm gonna show you this real quick, and then we'll we'll do it together, okay? Mm -hmm. Close all this out, all this madness. My poor charts say, "What are you doing to me?" Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me share screen now. Okay. Can you see my chart? Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. And what, what were we on? What pair do you remember? We were on GBP Aussie. But yours is on, on USD. Oh, it's on Bitcoin and USD. Wow. Here we go. There we go. Okay, so we'll go out to the four hour chart. Now see, I got all my line tools right here, so it's really easy to use, okay? Yeah. Okay. We must finish at 10 to seven, if okay. we can. Yeah, or we can pick up after. 
after sure. yeah that's no problem to stop anytime you need to stop so mm -hmm. so do you know how to do trend lines and support and resistance you've yes it's just clicking on the horizontal line mm -hmm. and setting them uh-huh that's right so look we had we had our high point here uh-huh right and the low point there here that's right i won't use pink in honor of you okay <laughs> <laughs> all right that's fine <laughs> we, got, we got a low point here and uh so we Where? had is it right not here? oh i thought it was down here no over here uh-huh that's where i thought it was yeah that that is a low point we got it we got another one over here and we're, we're gonna do a couple more okay okay oh we just hit that one right there for sure huh we got that one right here it's pretty good looks like we're fighting that one right now and mm -hmm. we just go we go through and we mark a little bit of support and resistance here just the just the big ones you know mm -hmm. okay but the ones that are really affecting us right now are, are these guys right here um and we know like from here if we take top like that let's do this there we go that's our trend line and so this was a downtrend as long as it was hitting this line right we go from a from a point of uh resistance to support and we had a downtrend as long as it doesn't pop this line and as soon as this line is popped we're moving to an uptrend right okay and then we hit the bottom here stretch mm. this out and hit the bottom here and we're on an uptrend as long as this is being hit mm -hmm. and then it, it pops and this is just a, it's a just a ridiculous downtrend right here mm -hmm. so so here we hit support and we are a higher high a higher low a higher high so we're anticipating this to be a higher low right in this area a higher low yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, like this and then we're hoping this is gonna bounce up something like this right or hit this hit this again so we'll turn on the ninja matrix let me see what mine's set on set it on the one day and see what we got here so yeah so that so the ninja matrix is confirming an uptrend for us right and we'll mm -hmm. look at the the ninja cater the ninja cater still says ninja down okay so we would not enter this trade right here right because we still have a ninja down but what we want to do is we want to see we want to get the charts to agree on a higher time frame so i have indicators that i use for me to enter trades okay i have the the ninja matrix i have the ninja cater i have the delorean emas Mm -hmm. I have the I have the DMI ADX and I have the stochastic and all five of them have to agree. Um, oh, hang on. You've got the Ninja Matrix, Ninja Cater mm -hmm. and DeLorean. Mm -hmm. And what's the other one? Uh, the DMI ADX is uh, DMI ADX. Right here. The DMI Wait. ADX key level. Oh yeah, A ADX key level, yeah. And the stochastic right here. Okay, all of these have to be in agreement for me. All five indicators have to be telling me the same thing. Okay, mm -hmm. so look, the Ninja Matrix is telling me it's a buy, right? Mm. But the Ninja, the Ninja Cater is saying it is not a buy my stochastic is headed down it is not a buy right um mm. am i do you know how to read this dmi adx just the beat okay so the green has to be on top for it to be a buy the, and the green is on the bottom so four out of my five indicators here are telling me this is not this is not a confirmed trend right um so what i would want to do 
is back up and let's find where these were confirmed. So look here, when we, when we got at the beginning of this trend, we had the ninja matrix that was in agreement with us, right? Mm -hmm. we, we got a ninja down. So that's two confirmations. Here, I was at the top of my stochastic and headed down. That's three confirmations. Here, my red, uh, my red, whatever indicator, whatever it is, and my orange key level were where they were supposed to be. The red was on top and my key level was out above the yellow line. Uh, or my DMI was up above the, the key level line here. So that would be my five indicators telling me, hey, this is okay to enter, okay? Because they were all in agreement with each other. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so they're, they're all in agreement with each other here. So I would drop down to the one hour chart. And on the one hour chart, so like if on the four hour chart, it's in a cell, then I drop down to the one hour chart. And on the one hour chart, all of my indicators have to be in agreement and I'm only gonna take a sell because I know where that's, that's where the market is headed as a whole. From the one hour chart, I'm gonna drop down to the 15 minute chart and the 15 minute chart has to be in a cell. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and, and the 15, 15 minute chart is really where I, where I write out my trades, but everything, like, like if the four hours on a sell, the one hour is on a sell, and then the 15 is in a buy, I'm not going to take a buy, right? Because I want all of my, my time frames to be on the mm -hmm. same movement. movement. You, under, you understand? Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. So all the way down. So like when I'm going to enter, I go to the five minute and one minute chart to make my entries. Uh, they call those like sniper entries, right? But again, it's, mm -hmm. all, it's all on sales. I, it, from, for me, from the four hour all the way down to the one minute, everything is moving in the sell direction. And then I will enter trades. And it's the same thing. If, if, if the four hours on a buy, the one hours on a buy, the 15 minutes on a buy, then I will enter on a buy. But I will never, you know, get out, get out of sync with my uh, indicators you know, go trade against the trend, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So let me, let me knock these guys down real quick. Um, and let's just go shopping for just a second and see what we can see. Okay. So now look, this is, this is in a downtrend, right? We got high, low, higher high, higher low, right? So we'll mm -hmm. be making a new higher high somewhere in here, but we're definitely mm -hmm. on a down uh, downtrend. So I would, right. So I would come, let me throw up my other two indicators real quick. Uh, the DMI and the stochastic. So if I zoom in, uh, now see my, my DMI is in disagreement. See, my DMI says, no, it is not a strong sell. And my stochastic is saying, you're, you're, you're pretty much done with the downward movement. You're about to start moving up. And so that would cancel me out of this trade because they all have to be in agreement with each other. Mm -hmm. uh, um, here, this, this says Ninja up by... This says Ninja Matrix buy, but again, mm. my 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 key level indicator is coming down. The green is going down. It's the end of the movement up here. I'm mm -hmm. not going to buy when my stochastic is all the way fully bought out. This is about to turn and start going back down. So if anything, if I was trading this, I would set an alert for this to turn red, um, and then I would I would enter the buy because it looks. I mean the sell because it looks like this is about to to enter mm. a sell market. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. In fact, in fact, I'm just gonna mark that because that's about to go into a cell. Um, you can do it. Here we go. Um, so let's do. So you start. So now that you understand this, let's go and get the. Um, let's do this. Let's go to the I am Academy. Sign in. 
because this is how you start your day, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's let's make this all make sense now. Let's let's put it all together. Mm -hmm. Strategies. Harmonics. We're gonna go to mm. the one hour, one hour time frame. Okay. Mm. And we're not going to do metal. We're going to do USD JPY here. And we're going to see the first thing we check for is our time zone. Is the time zone right? It is not. It never is. So we're going to go, I'm negative six uh, or five Chicago. Okay, I'm going to turn this stuff off. Bloop, bloop, bloop. There we go. Okay, this trade is, this trade has gone past the invalidation zone. So this trade is no good. Mm -hmm. You understand the invalidation zone? Yeah. I... Okay. If it goes past the red, the trade is over. Mm. Here we go. This trade is doing quite well, isn't it? Um, so we would measure this out to make sure it's big enough. 82 pips, 83 pips. That's pretty good. So NZD USD is headed towards 67409. Uh, NZD, what is it? What is it? Let's see, NZD USD. So NZD USD. Oh, I've got this marked. Oh, look at me. I've already got this on my chart. <laughs> um, hmm. So look, so this is headed down. You see, I already have this marked up on my chart. I've been waiting for this to move. Okay. Oh, yeah. So here we go. Here go our indicators. Okay. Let's look. Mm -hmm. Ninja, the Ninja Matrix says down. Down. Right, uh -huh. mm -hmm. but my nin my ninja cater has not given me a down yet. Right, on the one mm -hmm. hour, I'm on the one hour. My red mm -hmm. is headed up, which means it's in power. Uh, but my key level is headed down, so I'm going to wait till the red and the DMI are both headed up. I need this orange headed up, and I need this red headed up. And my stochastic does, in fact, say yes, the market is falling. So I'm getting very close to having my indicators align right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to drop down to the 15 minute. Now look, the red was up. Uh, my my mm. uh, DMI was up. Okay. Um, mm. I got my ninja down up here. I got my matrix here. Uh, but the stochastic is, is disagreeing. Um, mm. It looks like there's about to be a little bit of an upward movement here. So let's drop down to the five minute chart, see what's happening. Yes, see, we're it's technically. This is a pretty strong downward movement, man. Um, see how the red is moving back up. The, uh, the DMI is up. This right here kind of bugs mm. me, but. Um, but we've got the ninja down. We've got the matrix. Oh, I've got the matrix set on the wrong time frame. Look at me being stupid. Uh, uh, ninja matrix needs to be on the one hour. There it is. Much better. But it's still in agreement with us. So I technically, this looks pretty good. The red is headed up. My DMI is up. Uh, this, technically, I'm at the bottom of the stochastic, but the stochastic can stay down for quite a while. Uh, but I've got four out of my, oh, shit. let's look at the door. Okay. And we've just crossed through the 800. So to me, this feels like a trade that I would consider mm -hmm. entering because so many of my indicators are pointing in the right direction. I've got the harmonic scanner that's in agreement with me. I've got the matrix that's in agreement with me. Um, I've got the ninja cater that's in agreement with me. My DMI is in agreement with me. The stochastic is still technically headed down, but it's it's saying that we're getting pretty close to the bottom here. Um, mm -hmm. But we're in agreement on the one hour time frame uh, as well. You see, we're falling here, mm -hmm. and this this red is going up here. We're looking pretty good. Um, but all of these indicators have to match. They have to be moving the same. They all have to be saying the same thing. Either they all have to be saying up so, or they all have to be saying down. 
So are you going to enter now or you are going to wait for the... So what I do is I put a little bloop right here, like that, a little bloop, and I watch it, I watch it for about five minutes, six minutes. And, uh, and I, I really, like, I really pay attention. Like, I look for the sniper entry here. I go down to the one minute and I really start watching for, for a solid entry on the one minute chart. Cause I don't want to enter when it's going up. You know what I mean? Um, mm -hmm. I think on a whole, it is in a cell, uh, in a pretty strong cell. It probably is going to finish out, you know, going down to the C it's got to get through this, uh, uh, support right here. But uh, I would want it. It is battling. It's it was battling the eight hundred, but it's it's crossing through it now. Um, this is a Fibonacci zone that it's going to have to battle through. To me, it's going to have to 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 get through this line, which it which it looks like it's it's probably going to do. Um, but you never know. This has to end though. This this upward movement on the one minute chart. You see if if this you see how we're on a downtrend like mm -hmm. uh, uh, lower high, uh, I mean uh, lower low lower high, lower mm -hmm. low lower high lower low lower high lower low. So this right here, in order for me to stay in a downtrend, this cannot. This green candle cannot go up above this this line right here, right? Okay. It can't. It, it can't become a higher high. Or, or something's something's buggy, something's weird. Um, so I just watch this, and if this turns back and goes on a ninja uh, downward movement, then I, I will enter the trade. Does this all make sense to you? I feel like that's like that's that's an astronomical amount of information. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will get to this video. You are going to give me the, to send this video to me because you are recording, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'll have it. And usually in the early mornings, when I'm con I want to concentrate something on something, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Let's keep on. Look, yeah. look, look how. Let's see if it busts through. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to right there. What it may be trying to do. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Pop, there it went. Pop, there it went. And look right to the right to the stinking level. Did it cross through like microscopic crossings? What a stinker. Just a tiny. <laughs> so oh, what happens? It went, happens to, it went to this level right here. It went to that level right there is what it did. Uh. It left a, a tiny week. It's all on purpose, man. No, it's still, yeah, right. Here we go again. What it does is it pushes us up another level. Okay. I Hopefully think it's we... going to go up. Because the bottom week is getting low. No, 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 no. We got the 50 right here. It wants to touch this 50 right here is what it wants to do. Ah, okay. It wants to, to touch and reject off that. It, it's right going up. Okay. Over, over. It almost got the 50. Wouldn't, wouldn't this have been a good, uh, a good uh, uh, buy? Maybe a few. Uh, no, yeah, you could have pulled. If you could have pulled ten pips out of it. Mm -hmm. But again, if you buy here, you're buying against you the trend. You go for more more than ten pips. Maybe you you prefer to have lots. Oh yeah. Don't don't buy against the trend. If if we no. if the one hour's in a cell and the fifteen's in a cell, we're mm -hmm. not going to buy on the one minute chart. We're we're going to stay in a cell. Okay. You see how our indicators told us something's up. Uh -huh. and, and so we waited, we paused, right? Uh -huh. Because if we would have entered this trade with a 10 pip stop loss, it would have busted our trade, right? 
mm-hmm. or even a 15 yeah. pip stop loss, it would have busted our trade. So we're waiting because we know this is a sell market on the one hour mm-hmm. and the 15 minute. It's a sell market. So we just have to wait for our entry. So we went. So now it's saying that this is our this is our our level right here. Hopefully, if it goes up above this 50, it's going to try to be in an upward movement. It's going to try to be mm. in an uptrend for a little while, and then you're, we're going to have to wait. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. It's, is it going to go touch the 50 That's, right here? It's going to reject off of this 50 up here. Five minutes. Wow. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Feels like imbalance. Feels like it's taking up this imbalance right here. It's going to return uh, to normal. It's going to return yeah. to normal in just a second. This is so when this candle is over, it's going to be a good time to enter. There you go. It's trying to move that 50. Does this make sense to you? Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> it's interesting. Okay. So we will not buy because everything else is in a sell. So we're waiting. Look here. You see, mm-hmm. you see how it's building up the stochastic. Mm-hmm. So the stochastic is getting ready for a fall. We're waiting mm-hmm. for the DMI. See the grains on top on the DMI, so we know we're still in a oh, buy. Oh, there, there. Yeah, it's going to bust. There. This is how you keep yourself out of trouble, and don't try to jump in on this. Don't chase this. You <laughs> you stick to the plan. Because okay. what what they want people to do is chase this. Don't do that. You stick to your plan. Our plan was a sell. We know this is a sell market. No way we're chasing mm. a buy. We're going to okay. wait till our indicators say sell. Sell. This is, you got to remember that 90% of traders lose 90% of their accounts in 90 days. And it's from chasing stuff like this. Okay. So, so all I would do is come here, add an alert. Because this will drag you crazy. Ninja Cater, mm-hmm. Ninja Down. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go do something else. I'm going to go make a sandwich. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and drive it's myself it's... insane with this. <laughs> I like um, it's just, it just wants to hit the 50. It'll reject off the 50 here in just a mm-hmm. second. See how high. I it's thought it had gone past. Well, that was the one minute. Uh, it blew oh, through the 50 I on the see. one minute. It's at the 200 on the one minute. That was a pretty powerful upward move, man. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, but don't chase it. It's not It's not gambling. If you chase it, you're gambling. Okay, okay. You have to remember that there are people on the other side of this making the market move in ways that make you chase. And you have to be smarter than the people that chase. You have to. That's it true because on on Telegram there is a group called what? Did, 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 did. Just a word. Mm, I came across them. I think it, I came across them accidentally and I joined the group. There's a group called where's the thingy? The the well, the big wells or the wells. They say that they they can run up the market with bitcoins, with bitcoins. They can they say we are boosting the market today. They give signals to their people, and then they give them the dates and the times and the entry levels as well. So they pump in lots of money. Maybe they do if they are doing altcoins, they pump in lots of money there. And then other people think that Bitcoin is going up or something else is going up. So they buy and then they just dump and take the money right. and say they've had a good trade. Absolutely. So I'm careful with this. Since that time when I came across this group, um, I'm careful. So we, And I was grateful to learn about the, the 10, 10, 10 pips because... I wouldn't be caught up in the big, like putting lots of money. But mm-hmm. if I'm doing 10 pips, I wouldn't wait for the pips to go, to rise up, to ride mm-hmm. really 
because they then they would just dump and you lose it your money so what you are right. saying is true um do you have any questions about this here what i showed you this the 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 oh, the settings are already in place isn't it i don't have yes. to change anything at all uh just the ninja matrix when you go up and down in time frames you got to be sure and change uh you gotta be sure and 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 change your time frame see um if you go up to the four hour chart you need to change it to a day if you, to four, if you go to the one hour chart you need to change it to four hours if you're on the 15 or below i put it on the one hour oh okay okay i'll do more practice tonight today okay mm -hmm. uh, if you uh yeah if you have any questions um definitely let me know um okay be very careful make sure that your indicators line up um practice this and then you know tomorrow if, you, if you're still not getting it just call me back and we can we can hop on a call for another 15 minutes or something and yeah i'm available i'm available almost every day same time i usually have my breaks from two o'clock to four o'clock i don't know okay. what time what time that would be on that side it's 145 so, right now for me. You're, mm. you're six hours ahead. So if it's two o'clock here, it's two minus six, six hours, is it? Would be eight o'clock at your place. It's oh. eight, 8 p.m. or 8 a.m.? I think it would be, I don't know. It would be 8 a.m. At your at yours. Woof. <laughs> no, I'm snoozing. <laughs> I'm not up at I, I thought you I thought you would be analyzing chats, Dalton. You would be sleeping. analyzing chats. No, I'm sleeping. I'm a night owl. I'll stay up till probably two o'clock in the morning, but I, I sleep in. I I wake up about seven thirty or eight, but I I, I have another business that I run, so I got to do that business and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I usually do this in the afternoon and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Well, listen. All right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other uh, any other questions? No, no. 